top two principles. So first is we need to check if the state is safe. After checking if the state is safe, we need to introduce ourselves to the parents, relatives, and bystanders. And after that, we need to in check the responsiveness of our patient. Hey baby, hey baby. Hey baby, hey baby. Hey baby, hey baby. If your assessment is unconscious or unresponsive, call medical assistance. Hey mother, can you call 911? After activating medical assistance, you can now proceed to check airway. So, pag chinect po natin yung airway in ang ating patient, be sure po na gagamitin po natin technique is the neutral position. And do not hyperextend the neck part of our patient. Again, baby po yung patient po natin, once na yung hyperext po natin, additional injury po sa ating patient po yan. If in case na talaga airway is the problem, you can use the neutral plus para sa ating patient. Pero pag hindi naman, okay lang na neutral na po siya. And titignan po natin kung may nakabara po sa bumaha po ng ating patient. Pag wala po nakabara, proceed to the next step. Pero pag meron po nakita, gagamitin po natin pang tanggal is the pinky finger. Ang adult iba is point finger. Ang infant is pinky po siya. It's okay na towards from you or away from you. Depending po sa comfortable ng rescuer and sa inyong assessment. And pag okay na natanggal na, ang next na step na is we need to check the breathing and circulation po ng ating patient. So sa pag-check po ng breathing and circulation, pag-breathing, gagamitin pa rin po natin yung technique na look, listen, and feel. Pag-circulation natin, i-check po natin yung pulse dito sa may brachial area. So again, ginagawa natin sabay na yung pag-check ng breathing and circulation to conserve yung time sa ating assessment. So, uh, let me remind you, yung pag-check po ng breathing po natin, yung check po natin, ilagay po natin sa may mouth ng ating patient, and then yung tie na po natin, ilagay sa may nose po ng patient, and then look, listen and feel, ilunok po natin yung rising pole po ng ating patient. Pag-aral. Abang hawak na dito sa may break your part, and then, Come from 1 to 10. 1, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. If your assessment is positive pulse, negative breathing, ang gagawin po natin is rescue breathing. If your assessment naman is negative pulse, negative breathing, ang gagawin po natin is CPR. Pero this video, ang gagawin ko po yung is only the CPR. Yeah. So, our patient is negative pulse, negative breathing. We need to perform the CPR. So, sa pag-perform po ng CPR, first na po gagawin po natin is we need to activate again the medical assistance or follow up the medical assistance. Hey ma, masan na po yung medical assistance natin. Pakisabi po na magpo-perform na po ako ng CPR. After that, proceed na po tayo sa steps of performing CPR. First is we need to locate yung saan po ang center of the chest po ng ating patient. So yung guide po natin kung saan ang center of the chest is the nipple line po ng ating patient. So ito po yung nipple line and then dito po yung center of the chest. Next is so ano pong gagamitin po natin, finger or ilan na finger ang gagamitin natin to perform the CPR. So, the guidance, ang sinasabi niya po is at least two fingers. At least two fingers. Okay? Kaya, ibig sabihin, kahit anong fingers. 
ang gagamitin ko natin. Pero ako, ang gagamitin ko is the middle and the ring finger. And then, gagamitin ko lang yung thumb to support po yung two fingers para mas stable po siya once na gagawin ko na yung CTR. And yung isang kamay ko is always lang po na nakasupport po dito sa my head part para hindi siya po gagalaw kasi pag gagalaw po yan sa my neck part, again, additional injury po sa my patient. Kasi sabi nga natin, hindi pa uh, formally develop yung my neck part po sa ating patient. Kaya lagi po siyang nakasupport po yan para hindi pa to fall as negligence po sa atin as a rescuer. So, okay na. Nakapag-okay na po. Naka-ready uh, na po yung pagkuha natin. So, di ba, ang pagsisiklan din is parehas lang po sa my adult. Nagawin pa rin natin yung 5 cycles, 30 is to 2. 30 compression and 2 blows. So, pag magbibigay po tayo ng 2 blows, yung technique po natin is mouth to mouth to blows. So, ibig sabihin po noon, yung buhangan po natin, kailangan po natin isil yung ilong at buhangan ng patient and then bigyan po na natin ng hangin. Pag ready na po kayo, okay, start po na natin. And then, position. Then, give two blows muna. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. And then reassess your patient. So check the breathing and circulation. Position. Break out. Then notice and feel. Then count. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10. If your assessment is negative pulse, negative breathing, continue CPR. Do the five cycles again. If your assessment is positive pulse, negative breathing, do the rescue breathing. But if your patient is positive pulse, positive breathing, that is the signs of life, do the recovery position. So, paano po yung recovery position? So, ang recovery position, gagawin lang po natin yung verb position. Yung ginagawa natin, pagkatapos po ng bottle feeding or uh, breast feeding po sa ating baby. So, yung right hand ko, pahawak sa my neck part. And then, yung left hand ko, hawak sa may point ng ating patient. Okay? And then, unti-unti po natin, i-insert. Then, mubuhatin. Dahan-dahan po. And then, gawin na po yung birth position. That's the recovery position po ng ating patient. So, ang importante po dito is we need to support po yung my neck part po sa ating patient. Kailangan po natin yung support po yung neck part. Ayan. So, 
I hope na may matutunan ko. Please, don't forget 